I know that my body is mine, but it is so clear, and the science is completely settled on this point, that the moment of conception initiates the beginning of a distinct, unrepeatable, intrinsically valuable human life. And there is no claim, there's no claim that I can make to my own bodily autonomy that's going to alter that reality. The child in the womb has a right to life. Now, those of us, and there are many of us represented here today, that know oppression, we know marginalization, and we know to be suspicious of anybody who promises progress or freedom or whatever you want to call it at the expense of those who are deemed expendable and replaceable, whether those are black people, disabled people, or babies in the womb. It is important for us to get really clear about how we see racism truly operating in the context of pro-abortion politics in the city of Philadelphia. Racism, real racism, is co-opting the language of liberation to advocate for the destruction of the lives of the most vulnerable. Real racism is a so-called white ally telling black and brown women that they need to choose between their dreams and their babies. Real racism is thinking that white people, including older white women, cannot care about the lives and the futures of black and brown women. Real racism is advocating for the annihilation of someone whose value is not evident to you. We stand to exist with those who face pregnancy feeling constrained and hopeless. Whether those people are educated and sophisticated or young and vulnerable, we exist to contradict the lie that life is without dignity, meaning, or purpose. Mr. Sims, we will not stop coming here to pray. I believe, and many of us believe, that everyone not only has a right to life, but I too have a right to stand here and offer hope to others. Yeah.